Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you guys that are new to our channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can help us and support our channel. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, welcome back my lovelies. Go ahead and take a seat. I hope you have your coffee or tea. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of June 2021, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we're starting off with the Ten of Swords. There is a conclusion. There is an ending. There is a lot of imbalance that you've been dealing with. A lot of mental strife is what I'm hearing. Okay. All right, so right at the center, we have the Two of Pentacles. There is a decision that you're refusing to make or that at the present time, you feel like there is a lot of indecisiveness on your part. There could be a, it's like a back and forth type of situation. With the Ten of Swords, for some of you guys, it could be, uh, we're talking about relationships and partnerships. There could have been an ending or there is an understanding that there is a need for some type of separation, some type of ending in regards to some type of toxic um, connection that you've been dealing with, but there is a refusal to make a decision. So it's like you keep going back and forth, revisiting a situation from the past. With the Nine of Swords, a lot of mental you know, strife, um, worry and anxiousness. Five of Swords is vibrating from a very... It's ego-based is what I'm hearing. So let's take it a bit. Let's take it a bit, uh, a bit. Let's take it a bit back. There is a situation that you've needed to adjust. There is something that you're refusing to end or refusing to accept that there is an ending. Now, for some of you guys, this could be in regards to your self-growth. It's like there has been a lot of hurt, a lot of pain in the past. With this passing full moon eclipse that was on your sign, there is your south and north node are being activated. And it's going to affect you for the next coming six months. So on a grander scale, what they're telling you is, you need to be going towards your north node, which is your destiny. But you keep going back to your south node, which is that of your past lives, which is that of toxic traits, which is that of refusing to learn certain lessons. With the nine of swords, I see you guys mentally struggling with this. Now, this could be in regards to relationships. This could be in regards to not wanting to embrace an ending that could have recently happened or that you may currently be going through, but there is a refusal of you accepting. And for some of you guys, you're holding on to some type of revenge or some type of, um, some type of hurt that is coming from pride. It's coming from ego. It's almost like you want to feel vindicated about the effort and energy that you put towards someone that completely let you down. But what they're telling you here is that you need to vibrate from a higher frequency, Scorpio. You need to walk towards your destiny, not backwards. This is a lesson that you should have either learned by now or have mastered. And it is about the elevation, the growth the getting out of that dark, secretive energy that is all to do with the representation of Scorpio, right? The death. But with death, there is transformation. There is evolution, growth. Connecting with your higher self. But there is a refusal of that. And it's because you're connecting to your ego. It's kind of like an eye for an eye type of thing. And what they're telling you here is that you 
thinking this way, you're setting yourself back. You're the only one that is creating this never ending cycle when we're talking about connections, when we're talking about relationships, when we're talking about even the people around us, family member, friends. It's like, for some of you guys, it's the refusal to bring your guard down. Love may be around you. You have the sun card here with the king of swords, maybe dealing with an air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This doesn't necessarily have to be love. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be someone that really tests you. And there's a karmic type of connection here because we're talking about past lives. So it's almost like there is something in this person around you. Could be a Leo as well. That is really triggering your insecurities or that is triggering for you to be very aggressive. And it is aggressive because you're vibrating from fear. There is something that this person reminds you of or something that triggers you. And it's almost like oftentimes, have you ever met a person? Well, clearly, right? <laughs> They're showing me here. When you meet someone that just irks you the wrong way, like they just seem to bring out the worst in you and you don't know why, it's because something in them is a reflection of you. There's certain things that you need to work on yourself that you're not allowing yourself to do. And this person is there to remind you to do that work. So they're not talking about everyday type of things for the month of June. They're talking about healing past wounds. And they're also talking about aligning yourself to your mission in this lifetime. It is about getting out of that energy of the darkness of the underworld. These are suppressed emotions. This is pent up aggression. This is even becoming extremely passive aggressive. If you find yourself being very temperamental lately or like not having patience, it's because of that. All of that energy is coming to surface and you're having to deal with that. Now what they're telling you is it's time for you to turn the page. When we're talking about holding on to grudges, holding on to people that have hurt us, that have damaged us, that have gone above and beyond to break us. You're powerful, Scorpio. But in order to fully embrace that power, we have to understand where that pain is coming from in order to heal and elevate your energy and be able to maintain healthy, loving relationships, not going for those that break our hearts, not going for those that are emotionally unavailable, not being drawn to those that are chaotic, that are toxic. It is about embracing a new way of thinking so that you can fully be able to transform your life. For some of you guys, so that you can be able to fully embrace new love that's coming in. For others of you to heal past traumas. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is for Scorpio Sun Moon rising for this month of June 2021. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And remember, like I said, this passing full moon eclipse was on your sign. And that affects us. Oh, shit. And that affects us. Okay, so I've seen that and that. And that affects us for six months. 
So for every sign I pulled out one card, but we're gonna take the ones that my eyes went towards. So we have here number one, which is the writer. This is a messenger. This is communication. This is movement. This is positive outcome. There is an arrival, a new beginning that you will be experiencing. We also have 13. This is new beginnings. So you have two new starts, two new beginnings. This is trust or learning to trust. There is a need to embrace independence. Now you could be the most independent person in your family. But being fully independent is being or being able to embrace the not having the need for attachments, possessiveness. This also speaks about childhood. And number 36, this is fate, this is karma. This is sacrifices that, we, that we've experienced or that we've had to go through in this lifetime from our past karma. So again, I feel that you guys are dealing with a lot of heavy shit this month, but the beauty behind it is that you're completely transforming yourself, Scorpio. And I'm hearing for a lot of you guys, there is going to be an elevation. There is some type of renewal that will be attributed or you will be others will be able to see in your physical aspect. So for some of you guys, this you know, if you recently cut your hair or if you recently decided to dye your hair a different color or something, you know, you had beard and you decided to shave off your beard or grow a mustache. There is something that is on a physical aspect that you will be doing this month. And when that happens, you may do it on a subconscious level, not fully being aware. You just felt like you were going on a whim. And in reality, it's that you're tuning in to your subconscious, you are aware on a subconscious level that there is a change. So there is heavy stuff here, but the beauty behind it is that you're resetting. There's a new start. There's a new beginning. There is transformation. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of insight and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye.